The war between Russia and Ukraine is reaching its climax. Winter and heavy snowfall are erasing the traces of Russia's brutal war strategies in Ukraine. Russian President Vladimir Putin takes the weather conditions into account and wants to leave the Ukrainians in the cold and dark before Christmas. As the anniversary of the war approaches, Russia wants to stop the latest advance of the Kiev army by attacking civilian infrastructure resources and innocent Ukrainian citizens. Last week, the Ukrainian leader announced that the Russian attacks on energy resources continued, but that approximately 6 million Ukrainian cities had regained electricity, heating, and water resources. In Ukraine, where the maintenance and repair works of the energy facilities continue rapidly, the local people also do their best in the fight against the invading troops for the independence of their army and country. Critical and violent incidents took place in the line of fire this week as well. As Russia's attacks on the eastern Ukrainian fronts continued, the Kiev army managed to break through the Russian defense line in the north yesterday, and the front line shifted five kilometers to the east. This offensive put the Russian troops in an extremely unfavorable position on the northern line. In addition, tensions continue to intensify on the southern fronts of the Ukraine, especially with the withdrawal of the Russians from Kherson, the dimension of the war completely changed. With the fear of losing Crimea, the Moscow administration began to increase the concentration of troops on the southern fronts of Ukraine. The Russian armed forces, which added defense lines to the Crimean Peninsula and its surroundings, are aware of the possible threat of Ukraine in this region. At the moment, southern Ukraine and the Crimea are boiling like a witch's cauldron. After recapturing Kherson, the Kiev army came very close to taking the Crimean Peninsula. Nowadays, the Ukrainian armed forces is carrying out a top-secret operation plan on the southern fronts. Zel Zelensky's soldiers who want to establish an offensive triangle in Kherson, Melitopol, and Odessa unobtrusively launch their critical operation plans in the south of Ukraine as the heavy attacks of the war continue in Bakhmut city of Donetsk. In particular, the heavy artillery units of the Ukrainian army began to be deployed in the attack triangle intended to be created in Crimea. The situation that Russia is most afraid of is that the HIMARS used by the Ukrainian artillery units are currently within the range of Crimea. The war was dragged to a very critical dimension. Soldiers of both sides are on guard in and around Crimea. We know about the dawn operations of the Ukrainian armed forces in Kherson, Odessa, Melitopol, and Zaporizhia. These striking sudden offensive operations of the Kiev army are also disturbing the Russian troops in the south of Ukraine. A few days ago, the activity in the Mykolaiv region showed that the Ukrainian armed forces had already started the offensive. After Russian troops launched, launched an operation to attack the Ochakiv coastline, Kiev forces managed to sneak into the Mykolaiv port at midnight last night. The fact that Russian soldiers noticed the activity in the port much later gave the Ukrainian soldiers a great advantage. Zelensky's brave troops captured the strategic coordinates of the invading troops after infiltrating the port of Mykolaiv. Also, the Ukrainian armed forces are currently using this ingenious tactic in their operations in Bakhmut. In Bakhmut, Ukrainian drone operators in the bunkers report the coordinates to the Kiev soldiers on the hot front, and the Ukrainian soldiers in the operational team, after receiving the coordinates, target the Russian troops. Applying the same war strategy in the Mykolaiv region, the Kiev soldiers left the region after the invading troops managed to enter the zero point in this port silently last night, as we mentioned. Towards morning, the expected big attack took place. Ukrainian artillery began to bombard critical areas belonging to Russian troops, troops in the port of Mykolaiv. The extraordinary dawn operation carried out by the Ukrainian army yesterday had already begun to yield its benefits in the morning of the same day. Two Russian ammunition depots and the command center of the port units in the mentioned port area were blown up as a result of the HIMARS missile attacks of the Ukrainian artillery units. Before the invading troops in the port of Mykolaiv realized what had happened, the artillery of Ukraine continued at full speed. And the most interesting part of the attacks was that the shots of the Ukrainian artillery units directly targeted the most strategic centers of the Russian soldiers in this port. As a result of these incredible attacks of the Ukrainian armed forces in the port of Mykolaiv, no information was shared about the number of deaths or injuries of the Russian army. This incident, which astonished the Moscow administration, also demoralized the Russian troops in Bakhmut in the Donetsk region, because the Moscow army was losing blood rapidly on almost every Ukrainian front. 
This norm normally severely affected the performance of the Russian troops. Currently, hot clashes continue in the city of Bakhmut. But the Russian army began to despair in Bakhmut after every negative news from the other war fronts of Ukraine. Considering all these events, we see that the armed forces of Ukraine launched an all-out struggle across the country this week and are conducting active operations in Kherson, Mykolaiv, and Zaporizhia regions in the south of the country, and in Bakhmut and Avdiivka in the east. Now we are turning our route to Kharkiv, located in the north of Ukraine. A few days ago, the Ukrainian Defense Forces managed to repel Russian attacks on 25 settlements in the Kharkiv region in the last 24 hours. Units of the Ukrainian Defense Forces carried out a legendary counterattack against Russian troops in just 24 hours in the city of Masyotivka in the Kharkiv region. As a result of these striking Ukrainian operations, which took place simultaneously in other settlements of Kharkiv, dozens of, dozens of Russian ammunition depots and concentration centers of the invading troops were destroyed. This week's offensive by the Kiev army has progressed successfully in every region of Ukraine, even in almost its smallest villages. Although the Russian administration does not care that the course of the war is so bad for the soldiers of its own army, when the difficult conditions of the winter season are combined with this bad situation of Russia, very serious consequences arise. The agonizing pain of every defeat of the Moscow army on Ukrainian soil echoes in the streets of Russia. In other words, Russian citizens no longer have the strength to withstand the war policies of Vladimir Putin and the Kremlin. The current number of casualties of the Moscow army is very close to 100,000. After the new year, it's estimated that Moscow's casualties will easily exceed 100,000. While this is the case, it is quite normal for the Russian people to revolt against the Moscow regime, especially against the leader Vladimir Putin. However, the fact that the situation has reached a very dangerous level also triggers civil wars in Russia. In fact, this situation is now becoming much more dangerous for the Moscow administration than the effects of the Ukraine war. Putin can intervene in the ongoing war in Ukraine as he wishes, but neither the Russian leader nor the Kremlin can bring any solution to the riots and protest actions of the local people in the country. Ukraine, on the other hand, is well aware of the plight of the Russians. The soldiers of the Russian army who are already at the breaking point of the war either surrender or give up their lives when they encounter Kiev troops. This is one of the interesting tactics of the Ukrainian armed forces. First resist, then launch unexpected attacks and destroy. This is exactly what we see in Ukraine. But Kiev soldiers prefer to extend this different war strategy over a long period of time. When you look at it, the address of attacks and critical events is the city of Bakhmut of the Donetsk region. But the events that took place in the Mykolaiv port yesterday suddenly turned the focus of the war on the southern fronts of Ukraine. In fact, right now, after Bakhmut, the heart of the war is beating in and around Crimea. But Russian troops have been unable to notice these fine details since the beginning of the war. Or, when Putin's soldiers notice these clues, it's already too late. It is claimed that a very serious and gigantic collision will take place in the Crimean Peninsula in the following processes. We will see together if the Russian troops will be too late to resist again if these possible attacks occur. Thanks for watching.